Hey guys, how's it going today? This is Captain Energy. Today we're going to do something real quick. I just had a, uh, a user ask a question during a, uh, a hangout uh, of how to use Reason Effects with Cubase. I thought I'd cover this in another video, but I had not apparently fully covered this. So what I'd like to show you real quick is how to add effects to Cubase from Reason. Uh, this will only take a couple minutes, so here we go. All right, so first, whatever your project is here, I've got this little simple project set up in Cubase. It's four chords and it's just going to loop. So if I play it, it's just a dry piano. Um, all right. Now, in order to insert an effect, what you would normally do, I'm going to pause this for a second. What you'd normally do is either choose to go with an insert or an audio send. Now, in this case, I'm going to use an insert. Okay. You can choose whatever is your preferred method. All right, there we go. Now that we're in here, it will show you some of the basic effects that are built in uh, right away. But uh, I'm going to show you how to see all the effects that you've got. All right, click browser right here. All right. And now the effects should be highlighted already because we're in. We came in through the effects selection. Um, if it's not, just click effects and just scroll down here, and you can see all the effects I have built in or the effect plugins I have going on with Reason. And I can choose any of these now. And uh, you can also layer them. I'm going to grab a couple just for, uh, let's see, we'll grab Killer Hearts Transgate. Okay. And take one second to load that up. And now I'm going to go over and throw one more in here. I'm going to grab the Echo, which is one of my favorite delay effects that they've got here in, in Reason. And, uh,. Let's turn this down so it's not full wet. And I'm going to turn the feedback up so that it goes a little further, lasts a little longer. Um, all right. And now, when I play this, what was a dry piano a second ago? See, there we go. You see both these are working. I can bypass either one. Or I can turn off the effect completely. If I don't really want it there, so that it can be removed. Okay. You can hide this so it's not taking up your screen. And you can see it right over here. If you need to go back to edit it again, just press E on the on the effect. That will open up the edit window. And if you decide you don't want it at all anymore, just simply grab it, drag it out of the pre-effect slot, and drop it. And now it's gone. Same as any other effect. And that's it. I hope that was helpful to someone. And if you enjoyed that, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll know when there are future videos. All right, have an excellent day. I look forward to talking to you guys in the next one. Bye.